do, sir? Good to meet you, sir. Great to meet you. Jason. Well, good to see you. How are we doing? Good to see you. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everyone. Good to see you. My name's Brian Lowe. I'm representing the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. And we're, uh, we're very happy that you could all make it to be here with us today. For a very important event, I want to welcome you to a Park Green Agreement signing ceremony for the Milton, West Virginia Flood Risk Management Project. I understand that uh, some folks do have some commitments and appointments that they need to get to very soon, so we'll try to move along kind of quickly. But we do want to give some opportunities for some folks to come up and make some remarks regarding the project and this great partnership between the state of West Virginia and the city of Milton and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. After the remarks, we'll move into a, a formal signing of the partnership agreement itself. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and kick it off with remarks from Congresswoman Miller's office, Mr. Patrick Vicey. Good morning. I bring greetings from the Congresswoman. Dear friends, I would like to express my congratulations to everyone involved with today's Lower Mud project. I regret that I'm unable to join you, but I'm looking forward to this successful project. I'm appreciative of the services of the United States Army Corps of Engineers for their funding of $89.7 million to help reduce the flood risk along the Lower Mud River. I would also like to thank Governor Justice, Delegate Linville, and Mayor Canterbury for their support and the $48.3 million contribution to this project. Mayor Canterbury, your leadership will bring comfort to your residents, businesses, schools, and public landmarks and buildings. The city suffered a record flood resulting in almost $23 million worth of damages in March of 1997. This new flood wall will protect your city and allow for new economic growth and opportunities. It is important to see federal, state, and local governments working together to bring projects like this to fruition. Milton has a very special place in my heart because of its location adjacent to my bison farm. I have considered this community a home away from home for the past 25 years. I have been in the background advocating for the project funding, and I will continue to do my part to ensure that this flood wall is built. It is my greatest honor to be your representative in West Virginia's 3rd Congressional District, and I'm looking forward to the next chapter in Milton's history. Sincerely, Carol D. Miller, Member of Congress. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, next, I'd like to recognize Millie Kenner, representing Senator Capito's office. Senator said she couldn't make it this morning, but as you all know, I'm sure, uh, she's busy in Washington, so I'm here to read greetings on her behalf. Uh, so here it is. Uh, thank you to the Huntington District of the United States Army Corps of Engineers for inviting me to help celebrate the Lower Mud Project Partnership Agreement signing ceremony. Although I'm unable to join you in person, I want you to know how proud I am of the Army Corps of Engineers' dedication to moving forward with this project. As the chairwoman of the Senate Environment and Public Works Subcommittee on Transportation and Infrastructure, I'm always happy to see federal funds put to good use here in West Virginia. In 1997, eight inches of rain fell on the Lower Mud River Basin, which resulted in a devastating flood causing $23 million in damage. To avoid a reoccurrence of the 1997 flood, we must move forward with projects like these to improve our infrastructure and keep our homes safe. This urban levy will reduce flooding in the city of Milton and provide security to over 600 structures, including residences, businesses, personal property, and critical infrastructure. Again, I would like to uh, thank the United States Army Corps of Engineers for inviting me today. Additionally, I would like to recognize the state of West Virginia, the city of Milton, and the West Virginia Conservation Agency for their commitment to this levy and the community it serves. You may be proud to serve the great state of West Virginia and the United States Senate. Sincerely, your Senator Shelley Moore Capito. Excuse me. Thank you very much. At this time, I'd like to recognize the mayor of the city of Milton, West Virginia, Mr. Tom Peterbury. Well, I don't know 
know about you guys, but my cup is uh, running over that today. It is, uh, this is the, uh, the highlight, I guess, of my uh, long time of being married in Milton, 09. Uh, I know I've got a, uh, the Grand Patrician Resource going on down there. I've got a uh, $7 billion sewer project going on down there. And I guess the flood wall uh, just puts the icing on the cake. Uh, I can't thank uh, Senator Plymouth, Delegate Lambeau, Mike, Mike Wolfel, you guys, you've been just great. Brian, your staff, Colonel Evans, you know, it's just the great things. And uh, Governor Justice, I appreciate you, I really do. Uh, if, I know you are the final person that, that says the uh, okay, that signs this. And me personally, I don't care where you live. You can live in Charleston, Lewisburg, you can live in Milton, I don't care. But I'm just, I'm just glad that today is, uh, is, is just, I would like my city council to stand up. I want to recognize them because I'm sure I have gotten a little uh, stand up, Anita. <laughs> stand up, you guys. I'm sure I've gotten a little bit demanding. I, I know I have. And I probably got a little bit loud. But to get this project done, I appreciate all the time, the effort, the hours that everyone has put in to get this project funded. And I just can't thank everyone enough. I appreciate you, each and every one of you. Thank you very much. Okay, next we'd like to recognize Colonel Jason Evers. Good afternoon, Governor Justice. Thank you so much for attending. We really appreciate you uh, taking the time to recognize this significant event. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. So my name is Jason Evers. I have the honor and privilege of uh, leading the Huntington District the United States Army Corps of Engineers. Um, the Army Corps of Engineers has a, has a history steeped in pioneering solutions to the nation's toughest challenges. We enjoy promoting economic development and reducing the risks associated with flooding. And across the nation, the Huntington District is recognized for operating and maintaining more civil works projects than any other core district. In addition to this responsibility, we take pride in working alongside communities such as the City of Milton to facilitate management of flood risks throughout the region. The Huntington District is about to celebrate its 100th anniversary, and we've constructed over 89 flood risk management projects which have prevented over $15.6 billion in flood damages to date. As most, most of you know, the City of Milton, West Virginia has a history of flooding dating back to the 1900s. Events occurred in 1913, 1939, 78, 2003, 2015, and the record of flood occurred in 1997. Those eight inches of rain previously mentioned that fell on the lower Mud River Basin from Fe February 28th to March 3rd resulted in the most damaging flood ever experienced by the city. Total damages were estimated to be approximately 23 million at that time. And that's only a 3.7% annual chance of recurrence, which means that event could happen every 27 years. If this event were to occur today, it would cause over $40 million worth of damage in the city of Milton. In 2019, the district completed a feasibility study which analyzed the flooding problems experienced by the city. This study was completed through a partnership with the state of West Virginia and the West Virginia Conservation Authority. The study recommended the construction of an earthen levy to protect the majority of the central business district of Milton. I'd like to commend the West Virginia Conservation Authority for their diligence and commitment to the completion of this important study, which was necessary for the implementation of this infrastructure that we're about to sign a partnership agreement on today. I also recognize this all wouldn't be possible without congressional support and the bipartisan Bipartisan Budget Act of 2018 appropriation, which really made all the federal funding possible. Senator Moore Capito, uh, Senator Manchin, Representatives Miller, Mooney, and McKinley uh, were all key to making sure that the legislation occurred that provided the $96.2 million in federal funding. I want to thank you all specifically for those efforts. And then additionally, we thank the state of West Virginia and the city of Milton for their partnership on this project and the steadfast commitment to this enduring protection. Upon completion of this project, it will reduce flood risk, improve quality of life, and provide economic benefits to the community for years to come. 
The project will reduce the risk of flooding with, within the project area to a 0.4 annual chance of recurrence, which means it would recur on average, a flood would occur on average only every 250 years. It will provide benefits to over 600 structures, including residences, businesses, as well as public structures, personal property, and critical infrastructure. Additionally, the project will reduce risk to public health and safety caused by flooding. Today, we celebrate the execution of a partnership agreement on this much needed project. The Army Corps of Engineers takes great pride in partnering with the state and the city, but I wanted to, to mention a few folks uh, specifically that we would like to thank. Uh, Governor Justice, your, your cabinet has been instrumental, specifically the AG's office, the State Auditor's office, the West Virginia Conservation Authority, and the West Virginia <coughs> National Guard have been great to work with to get to this point. Mayor Canterbury and the City of Milton, your entire staff has been phenomenal in getting us to this point as well. And then also on the, uh, on the state representative side for West Virginia, um, they'll get Linville, Senator Plymouth, Senator Wolfel, and the entire legislature. We really appreciate your pushing for and funding this project. Um, without that, we wouldn't be here today. So thanks again for allowing me to be a part of this, this uh, important ceremony. We look forward to completing this construction uh, by the fall of uh, 2024, and then moving on where the city of Milton is protected. So thank you very much. Well, you're going to have to recognize me sitting right here. Uh, let me just let me just say this: that uh, you know we've got a colonel, a mayor, senators, delegates, lots of friends, lots of real friends. You know, in doing so, whether it be the city council or whatever it may be. There's lots of places in the state of West Virginia that have needs. And this is a big, big, big ask and a big deal. And it's a big number. If we don't come up with a big number, we don't come up with the federal dollars. You know, it's a big number and everything. But it is a need, in my opinion, I go back to long ago at Marshall University, you know, I would really surprise you by saying this, but you know, you know I'm a hunter, and you know I love the outdoors like crazy. I can't tell you the number of guns that I bought from a Morris watch shop. You know, I can tell you of the day that not long ago, believe it or not, you know, well, a few years back, but I was in Elkins and I was grouse hunting, and I was up on the side of the bank when I could get around a little bit better than I can now. And I was coming off that bank and there was a Red Dog Road there. And for those of you that don't know what Red Dog is, you know, it's, you're a lot younger than I am. But anyway, when I came off that bank, naturally what I would do is stumble and fall, and I did. My gun went one way and I went the other way and wham, I hit on the ground and my gun did pretty daggum hard too. Now what you do if you're bird hunting or any kind of hunting, you drop your gun, you want to check and make sure there's nothing in the barrel. Well, my gun that I hunt with is a gun that my dad gave me in 1971, you know, and it's a Browning 20 gauge, and it's beat all to pieces because I've had it, I've fallen with it a thousand times. Well, I chucked the chamber open, I looked down the barrel, there's nothing in, in, in it whatsoever, and so I put the shells back in it, and I go not very far around through there, and believe it or not, I have the dog points, and I walk in, and a grouse gets up, and I bam, and down it goes, and no, bam, 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 bam. I shoot five times, I kill four grouse, and, and then I look and my barrel is just split all to pieces at the end. What happened, what happened when I fell is evidently I bent the barrel just a little bit and that's probably what's enabled me to hit those grass, <laughs> to tell you the truth. But then I looked everywhere for improved cylinder 20 gauge barrel. Well, who had it? Morris Watch Shop, you know. But 
I tell you all this because I've spent a bunch of time in Milton and I know your need and I know how devastating it is and the thing that we all have to realize is the odds are astronomical in our favor that within the next 25 years you're going to have the same kind of wipeout and it's going to cost an incredible amount of money. The other thing that I've got to look at is this, you know, is how do you infuse $43 million into a budget and make it all come out? It's tough. It's really tough. But we did it. And the good part about it is it brings in another $90 million of federal money. And then when you spend all that money, you're surely, to goodness, hoping the multiplier effect of every dollar that you spend is real money and real jobs and real opportunities to our area. So, and on, and, and on the heels of all that, 8,300 feet, linear feet. It's amazing, you know, when you think about it. 19 to 26 foot high. You know, there's lots of aspects of this that are an amazing feat that's just getting ready to happen, but the greatest thing about all of it is then it becomes a destination to where people can come and live or bring their businesses and thrive and feel secure. So there's been a lot of people putting in a lot of work and everything. It took, and, and, and I don't want you to ever let me down because it took a lot of gumption for me to say go. Because, and then you've got to really commend your legislatures and everything for all that they've done because it took 43 million is a big hit to go. There's lots and lots and lots of projects all throughout our state that are also really important. But I truly believe, because I've been there, I've seen it, I've seen your community over and over and over, I truly believe this is absolutely worthy it is something we need to do and something we need to do now. So I'm really proud to be a part of it. And, uh, and whether I'm a big part or a T90 part, it doesn't matter. It's getting done. It's going to be more greatness for West Virginia. And I'm really excited to be, be here with you today. Now, the one thing that I am going to have to tell you is I've got, you know, the Fairmont Hospital is on the verge of possibly closing. And all the people are over at the mansion right now powwowing. And so I'm going to have to go unless there's something else that I need to do right here. But I, all I want to do is congratulate you and tell you I'm all in. We're done. We're going. We're going forward. The dirt's going to start moving and everything. And y'all are just going to have to keep up from there. And I'm going to sign the proclamation or whatever it may be here. And we're going, we got three pins. We're going to do so. And let's go. You've got the sign, sir. Do we have three of them? One over here. Let's get this out of the way. I'm going to play with it. Time out. Time out. Let me get that out of the way. Let's look all real official here, okay? Let's look like we really know what we're doing. Now we have to switch around a moment. Wait a minute, now, hold on. Am I right or what did we do here? We didn't, we didn't all switch. I'll just I'll get there. <laughs> okay, just come back your way, sir.